So guys, we're here at the Benefits Pro Benefits uh, Advisor Broker Expo, and I'm here with Bill Miller. Uh, Bill, for people who don't know you, who are you, and tell me the genre you play in. Well, I'm the, the former CEO of Drexy, and Drexy is now part of AMPS, and uh, we play in the transparent pass-through pharmacy benefit space. For us, we had to rebrand it because of all of the people claim to be transparent and uh, we're the honest PBM. So we're going to play in that world and that word because I'm about to get on stage and the whole thing is about transparency. So to you, it, it kind of sounds kind of intuitive because the definition is what the definition is, but let's talk sure. and let's define that word transparency. Well, I mean, real transparency has got to be, you have to know and you have to trust. And so a number that you get has got to be the real number. And you have to know, I, I would much rather pay you $5 than pay you $4 and think I'm getting ripped off for three. And it, it's all about trusting your partners and knowing that the information you get and the information you give is all on the up and up. I think that's the best way to say it. So, so then let's translate that because there might be people listening that don't know how to take that into uh, what's happening that, to them today. So PBM space, roughly 20% of their total spend, uh, give or take, right? It's increasing every year. Yeah. But what's the issue with the current model today? So let me, let me give some stats to start. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's 82, 83% of the world is insured by the big three people. <laughs> Yeah. So most eight out of 10 people listening to this are probably in that environment. What's happening today? Well, think about a business who has, you know, gross margins and the rest of that. With a traditional PBM, you have a company that has a contract. They don't supply the prescription. They don't source it. They don't fill it. They don't inventory it. They don't buy it from distribution. They do nothing but manage the benefit, and they make a 3x markup. 300% markup, it's a 75% gross margin, a $10 drug is $35, and, a, and the employer pays the brunt of that, and on a high deductible health plan, it's the employee that pays the brunt of that, when they should be walking out of the store with a simple five, six dollar drug. So if, okay, so somebody listens to that, and they're like, wait a second, um, and I go back to my old broker days and think, okay, I worked for one of the largest consulting firms in the world. I was doing this the right way, but now looking at what I was doing, I was completely doing it the wrong way. I would take a admin credit, right? right when United Healthcare would say, hey, put it with Optum and we give you a $12 admin fee. And I'm like, <laughs> client, bank the $120,000 on the 1,000 Life Group. Yeah. But, but again, somebody looks at their program, what's the question that they should be asking? Or what's the thing they should be digging for so that they understand, are they falling into this non-transparent world? You know, I, it, it's best with a story. So we were standing in front of a client and he said, you know, Optum came back to us and with UMR and they said, we'll cut you a check every single month for 35 bucks. For every single employer, we're gonna cut you a check. And all you have to do is let us do your pharmacy benefit. And when you think about that on the onset, it's like, great, oh, you guys just handle everything, it's wonderful, you got all of these, you say pharmacists and the doctors and everybody's gonna do this great job to contain your costs and they're gonna give you 35 bucks. But if you back up just a couple of steps and think, when was the last time a landscaper walked to your door, knocked on it and said, hey, listen, I'm gonna mow your lawn, I'm gonna blow up all the leaves, I'm gonna pick everything, take everything away, and here's 50 bucks to let me do it. That, so, but, so when you think about it, you, you have to have this common sense of how, how can that really happen? And what happens is the traditional PBMs do this benefit and they make all this money on the backside and they say nobody buys better than us and so we make a little bit of money but that's not a problem but really in the end they're soaking you when the numbers come out they're making three times the amount of money that you should be paying so i i, I love the analogy uh so we're going to leave people with a, a an action item uh, fair to say, if they're not getting charged a front-end admin fee, they should probably worry. 
absolutely. Fair to say. So Fair. Ca very counterintuitive in the advisory world, right? right? You, know, you would be, hey, zero, uh, the Pac-Man eats the other number, right? It's a right. bigger number, right? So you're like, okay, well, I don't want to pay an admin fee. I like zero. But the reality <laughs> of it is the net cost at the end of the day is, is not going to be the case. Yeah, it's all about the net cost. So when you think about the fact that somebody's going to do something for free for you, free isn't free. And, you know, as you know, we've talked about different pricing schemes and Drexy has this admin tool to be able to go out and shop. Anybody can go look at it. It's drexy.com slash search and you can search on the drug. But the key is people go and they say, I buy, a, I buy my statin for $50 from CVS. Well, if I go to GoodRx, I can get it for 18 when in fact it's really only $5. So that step down of price of everybody making money if you pay your small admin fee and get the real price, you will always save money and the net cost is the lowest. So there you go. If you're not paying an admin fee, you should, you should worry. <laughs> Absolutely. Awesome. Well, Bill, thanks so much. Appreciate Thank your you. time. You bet.